Michael Jackson is the most known person in the world after the prophets. Almost 14 years after the news of his death, he is still remembered and on the agenda with his whole life. During his lifetime, he was subjected to many libel and unfounded allegations, and his death did not end these news. And the biggest of these was the allegations. The house and secret room entered after his death were also a source for those who wanted to feed this discourse. Michael Jackson was tried in 2005 on allegations of child abuse, but was found not guilty. The things that came out of his house as a result of this incident were used by the people who wanted to scribble it, and they created a question mark in the minds of the masses. The British Daily Mail reported in court documents that a search in 2003 revealed that there was a large amount of obscene content on the farm. Her daughter, Paris Jackson, said, Unfortunately, immortality always sells. I advise you all not to care about the bragging and parasites that are trying to make a career out of trying to smear my father. The best people are always broken. It will always be proved that my beloved father is innocent and will be innocent, he did his explanation. Apart from the items that came out of his house, he has now been found in a secret room in his house. Footage of Michael Jackson's secret room in his mansion was broadcast by cable TV channel Extra in the United States, which is said to date back 10 years. The images show the door in the dressing closet of the famous singer's bedroom opening to the stairs leading to a secret room measuring 2.5 meters by 2 meters. In the footage of Extra TV, the bed in Jackson's secret room was filled with pillows and dolls adorned with pictures of children's book hero Peter Pan. On the walls were paintings of the once child star Macaulay Culkin. The prosecutors were specifically interested in this room. Michael Jackson's brother Jermaine Jackson told APC TV that his parents supported him 100. Handcuffing him is handcuffing the whole family. Jermaine Jackson says allegations of sexual harassment are a big lot. They sent a team of 70 people home as if Michael was a criminal. This is a bully, he said. Michael Jackson's former bodyguard also made statements about the EIEDEE -E 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 secret children's room allegedly owned by the pop star. Fiddies spoke on Scott McGlynn's podcast, Fiddies. Now an entrepreneur and celebrity personal trainer said, the claim that Jackson built a nursery is false. The room was already there when he bought the house, and it was actually a panic room. He was a multi-billionaire, and it was perfectly normal to have a panic room. You would push a door in, and there were a few items there that would entertain you to stay until a problem was solved. Mr. Fittis said, Many times, Jackson's fans parachuted near his home, and then alarms rang. The staff told him to enter the room. It wasn't a secret room people were saying about ridiculous things. Matt also claimed that two of Jackson's former boyfriends, Wade Robson and James Safechuck, had been sexually abused by the singer. He also shared his thoughts on the documentary, Leaving Neverland. Speaking about the 2019 documentary, Leaving Neverland, Michael Jackson and me, the bodyguard, said, The timing was very clear. What was overlooked in the documentary was that they sued Michael Jackson for hundreds of millions of dollars. If they put that in the documentary, I think people would turn the channel or have a different perspective. This point is very important. They tried to sue him. They failed. 
Then they appealed and they did it on a TV show. He spoke out his anger. Fittids, on the other hand, said, When the documentary began to be examined by the judicial authorities, a lot of things proved to be untrue. Now the program only takes an hour and a half instead of four hours. If I remember correctly, he had filed a thousand lawsuits against him during his lifetime. People would do anything to meet him. The problem was not the children, but the parents. Can the parents have 10 more minutes? He said. Michael Jackson, who is alleged to have an interest in children, especially boys, has never expressed his sexual orientation in a written or verbal way. Jackson was married to Lisa Marie Presley from 1994 to 1996 and Debbie Rowe from 1996 to 1999, with whom he had three children unfortunately, many still believe that he is gay even though he has no attitude towards it. Asked what Michael Jackson's sexual orientation was, Fiddy said, he always tried to promote that he was single. His own record label said, don't disappoint your fan base. That was always on his mind, and he wanted to continue this mystery. Found an explanation, according to Fiddy's, if Michael Jackson were alive, he would have asked them to ignore the allegations and not retaliate. If you were famous, your life would not be special. In this life, you lived in front of millions of people. There would be no end to the theories about you or the slanders. For this reason, Michael Jackson was so tired of the slanders that he carried out the fake death he had planned for a long time. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to find out about Michael Jackson's fake death. Also, make a donation from the thank you button. You can help us to cover our expenses.